Holy shit. Inner Majesty's Defense. I thought I would make a rather more lighthearted video. Sure, it's fun to rip on the stupid, the ignorant, and the holy than thou camp that shit on, like, say, Songbird, but I'm taking a break from it by making a video on the top five real life cars I wish were in Cyberpunk 2077. As everyone knows, the only real life car that is in Cyberpunk is the 1975 Porsche 930 Turbo in coupe and convertible form. And you know, it's funny how Porsche out of all car manufacturers ended up in Cyberpunk. If you played racing games of the last decade, you would know that in some games Porsche was absent, as the car maker was, and still is, super fucking strict when it comes to virtual depictions of the cars. So for a time, Roof, the then Porsche tuner now car manufacturer making high performance Porsche lookalikes, filled in the gaps that Porsche left. And also, goddamn me, the 930 Turbo is so fucking beautiful, the car mate. Sex, that's what it is. But in all seriousness, it is the best looking generation of Porsches for me, and also my second most used car need for speed heat. So, just as a side note, the watchdogs of the racing community would like to probably point out that Need for Speed Heat used an RSR instead of a regular 930 Turbo, but both CP2077 and Need for Speed use 930s. Anyways, preface aside, hit the cars, starting with number 1, the Hyundai Envision 74. Ironically, there's already a relatively well-made mod on it on Vortex that you can download and use that you have already seen in my two recent videos, I tend to drive it a lot, but disappointingly it hasn't been added officially. Also considering ever since 2015, Hyundai rose from the cheap shitbox car status into a proper car manufacturer making some super pretty designs, the Envision would have been excellent because 1. In the era of 2077, most of the cars are incredibly boxy or angular, and a reinstallment of the 1970s to 1980s era of futuristic looking cheese wedge cars, which one of the most appreciated designers being Giorgetto Giugiaro. Giorgetto Giugiaro. What car has to produce 1.21 gigawatts and go 88 miles per hour to travel to a different dimension? That's right! You see the Envision. And you see the clear influence the Hyundai designers took. You know what would be badass? Imagine this. You're out in the badlands. You pass by a cave, crawling with rifle scabs. You kill everyone, and you see the Envision 74. And considering CDPR made several video game, TV show, movie references in the form of shards, you'll see, I don't know, fucking Marty McAir talking to his professor. You take the car, Johnny says something typically Silverhand, and you drive off. I mean, that would be incredibly badass. Also, as a side note, recently Hyundai really enjoys making these retro-futuristic concept cars that don't go into production, but can easily pass off as like cars that like the CDPR devs make. But this isn't a Hyundai list video, so I'm not going to include them all. Then, at number two, we have the Tesla Cybertruck. Ironically, there's a mod for it as well, particularly two. Hitting dealerships recently and made to encapsulate the 70s to 80s futuristic cheese wedge door styling, whatever you want to call it. Like, let's all agree, it would be perfect for Cyberpunk 2077 and also serve as good marketing considering the rather laid back overall tone of Tesla, as Tesla is the electric car maker with a relatively funny owner, alongside with the Korean and Japanese car makers that venture into the EV world, while other car makers have found difficulty finding a proper market. I'm looking at you, Fort Lightning and fucking Mercedes. Like, it would be actually kind of sick if you can partake in some race series all throughout Night City in the Badlands without Claire, because Claire used you and manipulated you to get back at someone her husband was involved with, and you finish three or five race series, and you can get it. Shamefully, it doesn't exist officially, though, but only one can hope, as the Cybertruck is perfect for the cyberpunk setting. And then, at number 3, we have the Nissan GTR 50 by Itel Design. Everyone loves a GTR, right? Ever since we young boys finished watching the fucking Fast and Furious series, it's been ingrained into us to really love the Skyline and the GTRs. But I see cyberpunk lacks some proper supercars, let alone a low-level supercar that isn't American. The GTR's sharp lines, angular features, flat sides, and overall like monolith body would go well in the cyberpunk universe. If the ray fields are a mix of angularity and curves like say the Caliburn, a Japanese built Italian designed supercar would give it some competition. Just pass us some electronic discharge and safety labels on this bad boy and it would be perfect. 
Unlike the two other previous entries that are listed before, a mod doesn't exist for it, which is a shame. There's only R35 mod at most, not an R50. And like the Hyundai Envision mod, the Envision uses the Mizutani Shion Coyote sort of like twin turbo V6 sounds, which is what the GTR50 IRL uses. So assets are there, ready to be ripped and repurposed. At number 4, this is a double entry, Hyundai Prophecy EV and Hyundai Grandsha Heritage. This is a double entry because I couldn't decide which one would fit the game world more. But what I do know, you know what would be absolutely sick mate? Them two as lower end Delamain caps, think of it. The Prophecy to be a sort of like alternative caliber if you really want style, what the Grandsha to be more traditional but a cheaper and sicker alternative to the Villafort Cortez V5000 Valor car, which are what the Delamain caps are based on, and god knows that's a fucking mouthful. Though the Grandsha EV would be far more fitting as the boxer cars of Cyberpunk already cemented the place in the game, and the Grandsha would then be able to get like say the asymmetric design treatment, while the Prophecy is shaped like a computer mouse and it's relatively symmetrical all around. But imagine how good the Prophecy would look in CP2077 with ray tracing set to Psycho, with all the good graphic mods installed, none of the reshade bullshit, just the very fucking quality pieces, mate. And lastly, we have the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD. While yet the Quadra 66 cars exist, alongside with the Charon R7, which is sort of like a massively elongated 1970s Dodge Charger RT, and from my knowledge that the two main and only muscle cars inside Cyberpunk, the standard and also the modified variants. But remember we have given a gig example of the Envision 74, where you have the pride of some shitbags. Check it, my Nigeria. Remember Gone in 60 Seconds from the year 2000, with the signature car being the 67 Mustang white body named Eleanor? And considering CDPR's easter egg slash subtle references to other games, um, movies, etc. via shards, a gig stealing a tricked out Mustang GTD in silver, also with shards, action and everything would fit so well in the cyberpunk universe. I better not cream my pants. Like imagine if it would be in the game, right? That like you have to steal it from Arasaka employees, very high ranking ones, and then you have to give it to Padre or some other like fixer in the video game. Would be quite badass. But anyways, that's all for today. In a majesty's defense, I rest my case. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Later.